the fuck is going on youtube it's your boy right back with another cool video now as you guys can see right in front of you refreshing this is in three days right right here right in front of you june 13th to the 15th we did 94 grand in revenue 94 g's now i'm about to show you guys the conversion rate we ended this drop off with a 2.3 percent conversion rate which is not too shabby so a lot of you are struggling with websites i've seen it way too much so today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a proper website from fucking scratch it's been a year since i've made a proper website video in terms of tutorials but raise back make sure you commit some domestic violence on that like button bless me the engagement so i can sit down and make more videos like these so you guys can enjoy so anyways like i was saying go crazy on that like button spank that and then let's jump straight into this fucking video now i'm about to hop in and share my screen with you guys and walk you guys through the step-by-step -step on how to do this so i really need you guys to sit down pay attention a lot of you guys have shitty attention spans and love complaining stop doing that shit sit down pay attention lock in this is gonna pay off so this website i made this in around 15 to 20 minutes and now we're averaging around two to three percent conversion rate daily before the website was averaging around a 0.5 to maybe 0.8 maybe some days one percent it was very inconsistent after this boom conversion rate skyrocketed so set the fuck down lock in i'm about to show you guys now one of the biggest things i've seen beginners when they do first start out is using a free shopify theme which is fine but after you make your first five figures with any type of brand invest into an actual paid shopify theme it's gonna pay off so i'm gonna show you guys the before and after in terms of the theme and you guys will know what i'm talking about so hopping in he was using the free shopify theme called refresh it looks fairly simple but in terms of conversion rate there was a lot that could have been done so for example, let's say we even go on product page, a sign of bad user experience on the website is the black background. You never want to do a black background. It just kills conversion. I learned that shit in university. If you didn't know, I did web design in university. So, so anyways, getting into it, it was, you know, needed a lot of fixing to do. Did our thing, hopped in, revamped, and made the shit boom. So this was the before, nothing crazy, really not much psychological things going on for upselling, nothing like that. So now I'm going to hop into the actual theme that we're using right now. It's called Essence. So it was like 290 90 bucks us worth it we made that shit back in the day bro right after we launched it so hopping in boom this is what the website looks like now compare this to the old website it looks way more cleaner more smoother and just more appealing to the human eye as well it's easier ux straight to the point just simple we're gonna be making some more changes as time moves forward but it's just based off testing it's been a week so far we've been averaging two to three percent cvr can't lie guys is, is doing this thing so as we go through we look at the sessions we look at how many people hop in hop out and we make changes based off that so now i'm going to kind of hop into the tutorial and give you guys game on my thinking behind even making a website from start to finish and this is for any type of website this is not niche down specifically this is for any type of website so you're still going to get a lot of value out of this all right now let's jump into the psychological aspects of the website and why we did what we did so first things first at the top i added this timer it says 50 percent off ends in 50 minutes so i put it to like an hour so it kind of creates that fomo aspect every hour it just resets back to one hour that gives impulse buyers the thought of oh shit i might miss out i don't want to lose my 50 percent so boom first fomo aspect right there kept the slideshow fairly simple nice little luxury pick with uh same text we had before chase your potential modern gentleman's personal hygiene nothing crazy simple straight to the point now the main kicker is this i added the bundle as the first thing so they see the bundle that's just getting slapped in their face so it's 138 bucks uh canadian scrolling down then the products separately are 83 and 69 if you can do the math that's way more so why would you not buy the bundle you save money you get two things so boom kick it right there that automatically brain fucks someone and they're like oh shit i need to buy the bundle it's just straight impulse at the end of the day so boom that was the aspect and then reviews we grab reviews of people who actually purchase the product it's your choice if you want to do that or not these are actual people that purchase the product i just added the section and put their testimonials in there now i'll jump into these in a second but scrolling down kept it simple if they just want to go to collections they can do that just a little filler on the website and then a simple about us so that's literally the landing page that is it nothing crazy simple landing page straight to the point easy to shop now let's say i click a product right boom right here simple description now before the description was long as shit it was way too long people couldn't understand it so we simplified it to the max simple straight to the point people understand they see what it's about boom your website's like a silent salesperson essentially now when you add to cart right here added some upsells in there so you have qualified for free delivery it is free shipping regardless but adds a little you know just to it they're like oh shit free shipping say less then boom a little upsell down here you may also like so they can just add more products and then shop when you click checkout now one issue i've seen a lot of you don't have your checkouts optimized that's one of the key things you got to make sure checkouts optimized because it just says your brand name up there and that's it it looks horrible you want to make sure it's optimized so make it look nice and pretty because it's big on branding scroll
scroll down, fairly simple. I switched up the font, made it look good, and then boom, simple, straight to the point. It's going to do its thing. So now I'm going to kind of jump into more aspects and more tutorials in terms of what goes through my head when I'm making a website. So really lock the fuck in and just fucking sit down, hold your nuts. You're going to learn a lot. All right, so I just added the theme to the store again, just fresh theme. So I'm going to be walking you guys through it step by step. So let me make my bitch ass a little bit smaller so y'all can see. Hold on, boom, a little tiny right in the corner. So anyways, jumping into it. First mistake I see a lot of you beginners doing is making the website on desktop. Look at the top right. Do not make your website on desktop. Majority of traffic does not come from desktop. If it does, it's not the early 2000s. They're not shopping off the desktop. Click mobile. Design like this. Instill that in your head. Do not use desktop. That's the first step. Now, cool. Boom. Hopping in. It's pretty much preset if you want to just use that template up to you. But I like doing it custom based off, you know, my brain and intuition tells me. So jumping into an announcement bar, if you want to do the actual countdown timer, I'll walk you guys how to, how to do it after. However, if you do want to use announcement bar, it's still a nice way to get a couple sales in. So if I just click this right here, boom, you could be like free shipping up to 50% off. Nice. I got typing. I apologize, guys. Boom. So free shipping up to 50% off. And you want to train yourself to click save on the top right as much as possible right after you make any change, just so you don't lose your progress. Even the Shopify theme editor, it's fairly simple. It's not that hard. It's like PowerPoint. It's like Canva. It's not hard. It's just drag and drop. You're not coding anything. It's not complicated at all. So the people that are crying about, oh, I don't know how to make a website. Eh, shut the fuck up, bro. It's not that hard at all. So boom, announcement bar, you could do two things. Like I said, either the countdown timer or just put an offer in the announcement bar. Keep it simple, straight to the point. Next header, boom, right here. Logo, I'm going to remove that. You want to, of course, have a nice high quality white background logo. So I actually ended up editing one right here. Click that and just put that in there. Fairly simple, straight to the point. Looks good. Don't make it look big, make it look small. You got the options on the right. And then these options here, I'll walk you guys through this after however scrolling down mobile menu if you want to create a menu i'll make a video on that after but it's pretty it's fairly simple to make a menu so for example you click here you got products vision contact track your order so comment down if you want me to make a video on that i'll show you guys how to do that boom header wise really not much to it guys like for a transparent header you could just put that in there simple straight to the point next is your actual slideshow so the slideshow that goes here when people land on the page what type of perception do they want to see so i usually like to keep one image and i'll kind of put you guys on some game too so we used one of the luxury images, but just use this fire ass bathroom. And now one thing to make this look good, since it does look a little bit pixelized, I'll teach you guys right here on the hard right. You want to click slideshow. So click slideshow up here. You want to be able to play around with it. Also, you can do transparent header too. That actually look better. I might do that on the main site. You learn, you learn something new each time you work on it. Now you see where it says use original media size. Just do that and it'll make the quality look 10 times better. That's literally it. So boom. And then in the title, you want to kind of introduce the brand. Now this is some free game for you guys so this right here take 10 percent off or i'll probably put that in the heading okay heading today only and then in the button right here right button label claim or get access, whatever you want to do. This is a high converting thing you can do to get more signups. So if you go on Postscript, I can make a separate video on that as well. See, I'm getting a lot more video ideas, but y'all got to ask for it. Y'all got to beg for the videos, man, because this YouTube shit is a little bit hard. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, the link right here, you get the Postscript link, you paste it in there, they click get access, boom, you got to sign up right there. That does also increase conversions. So that's another way to go about it. So yeah, fairly simple. That's how you kind of work on the header side of things. So now we're going to jump into the rest of it. So boom. Hopping in featured collections, featured products, blah, blah, blah. It's fairly simple, but me personally, I just delete all this and I just like starting fresh and I like playing with all the options I have to kind of see what it does and what looks better. Like I told you guys, intuition is key. You want to make sure you're you know, playing around with it and attention to detail, especially with websites. So click add section going through it. There's a lot of options. So for him, like I said, there's a total of two products and then we made a third one as a bundle. So that really changed the game for us. So I would probably do the same thing i would look for where is it product 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 feature product right there boom simple feature product put that there select the product that's the prestige set in terms of optimizing this media size let's see original original looks way better that stuff loud carousels thumbnails dots. Uh, thumbnails is fine enable video autoplay i'd probably do that let the video uh autoplay you really know much too it's simple simple straight to the point i would probably get rid of quantity people usually don't buy that much in quantity uh you keep out to cart and the shop pay button and then boom 
simple. Next, after that, I showcase the products. So how do I do that? Scrolling down, let's see, let's see, where is it? This is gonna do this live with you guys. This shit is not scripted. I'm just sitting down showing you guys the real spill. So, hmm, am I tripping guys or where is it? It's not, is it, fe oh, yeah, it's featured collection actually. <laughs> so boom, click that, simple straight to the point, showcase these products. Heading, you can either do featured uh, collection or you could do just landed, whatever you wanna do, honestly, personal preference, you can, you can cook up a name, don't really matter. Usually like to get rid of you all if I'm doing this type of offer, especially with like two to three products, just get rid of that. Let them see the higher price point on these products. And then your whole goal at the end of the day is to make the homepage look as simple as possible, but clean too. Just so people kind of understand that, okay, this guy cares about his brand. It's a proper branded brand and they're not going to finesse me because that's one of the biggest issues in the game right now. People are getting fucking absolutely finessed. So boom. Next, testimonial. Fairly simple testimonials. You can also go on chat GPT and cook up testimonials. So you want to kind of put those in, sit down, put like maybe five to 10 or even more, but cater them towards your audience. If you're not catering the testimonials towards your audience, probably won't convert as good as you want it to, to be honest. Like you got to cater them towards your audience. So boom, make sure they sound legit too. Make sure it doesn't sound like absolute bullshit. Now, one thing, like I told you guys, I did before just as a filler thing, featured collection. I kind of just showcased the little featured collection bar here. So boom, uh, all you really want to do is click collection on the left, click collection, foil shaver, and then collection right here. And then trimmers straight to the point you don't got to do this but it's just like a little filler thing that's what i like to call it now collections per mobile i put two here so it turns tiny just so people are like okay if i want to buy something else where do i go go there add section now a couple things i would recommend is an about us towards the end just so people kind of understand what your brand's about so image with text usually goes hard so you just want to put some fire image about your brand whatever it might be so for example let's probably throw this bad boy in right here and you just want to yap about it about us hey guys at Aurora Lucente, we started because blah, blah, blah. Write a cool about us there. Now, a couple things uh, I would recommend a lot of people implementing. Right now, we're just testing based off of just keeping it simple, but you can also test out these texts with icons to kind of help people understand. So, for example, if you have free shipping, if you have good customer service, and then the list goes on, essentially. So, you can just have these set up. So, what is this text? You can just drag it up. Easy returns. It just increases CVR, secure checkout. Just gives people a reassurance that they're not going to get scammed so text with icons and one more thing i recommend people doing to where did it go i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about collapsible content so collapsible content would kind of be like a little faq so for example if they have questions about shipping they have questions about the product or let's say you're selling clothes the wash instructions delivery whatever it might be you could put a little faq at the bottom it will help increase conversions scrolling down to the footer make sure this is always optimized so like i said about us write a little small description on the about us going down stay in touch you could just keep it and that's really all for the home page the home page is really not that hard to optimize this is just a good example of what a high converting home page is if you guys want me to work on other niches as well my main niche is clothing of course so let me know whatever you guys want me to work on man i'd be happy to sit down and make more tutorials because i have a lot of time now and i can sit down and just go crazy with this youtube shit so boom fairly simple home page guys not not too hard not too crazy so now it just requires a lot more tweaks i already made the website so i'm not going to sit down tweak everything and remake it from scratch because i already did that all right guys next step right here on the top you guys see this all these options you want to go on every single page and make sure it's fucking optimized if it's not optimized you're gonna get cooked so boom products right here let's go on product page so hopping into product page your product images are very important right now we're currently sitting at like around three to four for most of these products or this one has three with a video depending on the type of product you're selling it varies if it's a clothing brand i have another video on that you can just go on my youtube and watch that however with this we went for just simple three to four uh product images slash video so if you go here like i said silent sales person so it closes that right there when it comes to optimizing product page i like to get rid of the quantity thing i like to get rid of my store here keep it as simple as possible i usually take out buy with shop pay most of the time for clothing brands but right now we're keeping that scrolling down description has to be fairly simple so in order to optimize this i have this collapsible content i'd probably get rid of that click description probably get rid of the heading and then cool simple straight to the point you may also like and then right here how to optimize product page so what i recommend doing which we're probably going to start testing fairly soon add the testimonial section add a shit ton of testimonials so i usually like to add it right below description so add it right below the description so when they scroll down they can read testimonials and one more thing you want to do too for this is the actual video so either a video or a slideshow of images so for this product specifically we're just going to go with video video with text it's right there video right here 
add that. And then one more thing I low key wanted to test was either an FAQ or even like a little about a section on the product page. But honestly, we're gonna leave that for now. So whenever you're making your website, put these videos side by side and start optimizing. Keep it fairly simple. So once your product page is done, let's optimize that to cart. Hopping in here, it says cart. I like doing drawer. Drawer is way better. I prefer drawer. You just wanna do open cart drawer rather than pop up. For example, if someone adds to cart, really not much to it. it has a lot going on we're going to fix this i'm going to show you guys how Let's click that click cart free shipping bar enable that threshold put to like four bucks so it's just free shipping i recommend doing free shipping that increases conversions like crazy once that's done uh oh yeah favicon right here do not forget your favicon make sure you add that favicons are important it shows up here that's what a favicon is fyi if you didn't know so yeah cool go back to sections click on cart drawer right here on the hard right it's going to show you these options click off that, click off that, click off that, click off that, and keep it simple. Now you may also like add the products you wanna upsell in there and it'll show those. So if I click save, get off that, go on the cart drawer, gonna say checkout right here, gets rid of all the little fuss, all the bullshit, and then boom, simple, done. So you optimize the cart drawer, it's really all. And then settings, you wanna kinda of tweak with it, play with it, you wanna change the button color, you could change that from here, play with that on your own time. I'm not your teacher, not your little school teacher who's gonna hold your nuts and show you every single detail. So just figure that part out yourself. Uh, this is the font. I don't know if I wanna give it, uh, all right, I'm gonna give it out. So one of the nice fonts I like using is this one right here. And then you go extra bold, I think it's called Montserrat. I don't know how to pronounce it, don't mind my, pronunciation so just add that font's gonna look 10 times better it's like a quote-unquote luxury font that's what that's what we were trying to aim for for this brand so that's what we did scrolling down the layout don't got to do much now product card quick add to card is good sold out badge is good discount that's it you, you don't really got to do too much article card just leave that as is cart we already optimized animation now if you do want to increase your website speed i recommend just turn your animations off your speed's going to increase like a lot color swatches don't got to tweak it currencies personal preference you can turn the code on and then social media make sure you add your social media in here for whatever you're selling so for example the brand instagram the brand you know tiktok whatever it might be add that click save boom done that's how we optimize the cart drawer now checkout you just want to click where is it checkout and customer accounts want to click customize right here and like i said mobile view this is where a lot of you fuck up you don't optimize this part you want to make sure your checkout's optimized put the logo up put this up and then boom. Now one piece of advice, imagine you're this guy called Sunny Bins, you fill out all your info and you fill out your card info. Now this is, this is where the kicker is. Scroll down, it's this button, I don't know why it's not in color yet, but it usually has a color. It says review order instead of pay now. I've been abusing this method for the last three to four years and I've been gatekeeping the fuck out of it. Get this video to a thousand likes and I'll show you guys how I do it. Imagine you fill out all your info and you click review order. Guess what happens? You end up purchasing. You end up fucking purchasing the product when it says review order and it, it works. Works. It's like a psychological brain fuck. If you already filled out your card info, you were gonna buy regardless. So I don't wanna hear anyone saying, oh, this is fucked up. No, it's not. They were gonna buy. I'm helping them buy quicker. Yeah, I mean, there's that. I'm gonna kind of show you guys what was left. What was left? I remember the countdown timer. I'm gonna show you guys a countdown timer, then we're gonna end this video off because Ray's getting tired. Give me engagement, I give you more game. That's how this goes. Remember, countdown timer essential. That's what the app's called. You go on the Shopify app store, you download this, show you guys how I made my timer. Go here, design, template, custom. Just copy my settings. Just copy me at this point. I'm not gonna sit down and be like, do this, do this. Just copy my settings. You can pause the video and copy it. Click content right here, timer name, uh, only only visible to you. 50% off ends and you can put any type of offer in there, slap an offer. If you wanna add a call to action button, you can. Uh, fix minutes and I did 69 minutes. I just be trolling half the time and this shit works and it makes a lot of fucking money. At this point, I'm like, how am I even a real person? I just put 69 minutes and it started fucking booming. Motherfucker, I'm Ray, I'm him. Anyways, so put the 69 there. About to make some fucking bread. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I made. I sat down, I spent a lot of time making this, so give me the engagement I deserve. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna lock in on some more videos for you guys, and hopefully I can stay consistent on YouTube because uh, your boy sucks at it, make too much money, and I'm like, fuck. But you know what? I need to bless everybody else. I need to sit down, show everyone how this shit goes, how this shit works. So if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down whatever else you want me to make tutorials on. Make sure you write it down in detail. Hey, teach me this, teach me that, teach me that. I'm, I'm not in your brain. I can't 
can't tell what you want. Tell me what you want and you shall receive it. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a good fucking day. Be productive. I'm about to go to the gym and lock the fuck in. You about to see Ray get jacked as fuck. If you look at me in my old videos, I got a little bit chubby. I was eating like dog shit. And my fucking jawline's coming in, gang. Like I'm about to go crazy, guys. Oh, I hope you're ready for this run. It's about to be a generational run with content and just everything else. I'm about to go insane. So let's fucking go. Lock in. Make some fucking money. Learn how to make a website. And enjoy your day. Stop jerking off.